Hey guys, welcome to another episode here on the Natural Soap Man channel. As always, this is Natural Soap Man, and guys, it is so good to see you again here on another Tuesday. So I just want to say thank you so much for giving me some of your time and attention today, guys. But in this video, I'm actually going to be reviewing Olivia's Bourbon Cedar. So I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to that. And I also want to say, guys, if you're getting any value or you're enjoying the content uh, by any means, consider hitting the like button and uh, even consider uh, subscribing to the channel as well. Maybe possibly sharing with your friends and family. You know, anyone who can really get some value from this. As always, guys, my mission and my goal is to help young millennial men uh, find the perfect natural bar of soap for themselves. So it's always been a mission, and I hope I can uh, help you with that. So with that being said, guys, let's get right into the video. All right, gentlemen. All right, guys. All right, guys. So right here, I have the Olivia Bourbon Cedar. Uh, as always, I like to start off, you know how I am. I, I always like to look at the packaging. I, I, I really appreciate good presentation. I like the fonts. I like to look at the box. I like to look at all that stuff. I'm weird like that. I'm a marketing guy, so I like looking at all that stuff. So um, right off the bat, I always appreciate when companies go with a cardboard aesthetic. I just think it has the best natural or it gives it a really good natural aesthetic and when I, I just appreciate it I just love it and as you can tell this definitely has a uh, cardboard aesthetic so it's pretty cool kind of kind of conventional though a little more conventional than some of the other um, soaps I reviewed so I mean it's not nothing crazy it's a little fancy <laughs> Got a little fancy I like the font the fonts really uh the fonts what sticks out to me the most. Um, what I think, I, what I appreciate the most, and what I'm noticing is the the wording bourbon cedar. I like the the orange, burnt orange kind of bourbon look to it, right? Um, I like how it just kind of highlights and makes it stick out. So I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's okay. I think it's good. Oh, I think it's a. Uh, I seen better, but I also seen worse. It's a little, I guess it's because a little too conventional for me. But at the end of the day, I think I don't. I think it's good. I think it's fine. So, um, cool. So now that we actually looked at the packaging, guys, let's move on to the actual bar of soap and take a closer look at that. So, just move on. All right, guys. Now that we looked at the packaging of the bourbon cedar, let's go ahead and take out the pack and let's take a closer look at the soap itself. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh wow. Okay. Look at that. I really like the color. I dig the color. I really dig the color. The color speaks speaking to me, you know? It's cool. I like that. It's got a... Uh, it's fitting the theme and it almost has like the same color right here. So they're going with this theme, this bourbon, you know, cedar style kind of look to it and I'm digging it. I like it. The soap itself is like really smooth. It's a really smooth soap. Um, yeah, it's really, really smooth. I. I like uh, I like the logo how the logo is imprinted in it. Um, that's cool. It's also it's a six ounce bar soap, so it's a little bit heftier. It's actually a little bit. It's even a little bit bigger than most soaps actually. It's kind of a big for you know for soap wise. That's actually pretty big. Definitely bigger than uh, the average bar soap. Uh, a lot of soaps come around like that five four and a half five ounce. This just comes in a six ounce, so it's a little bit bigger than your average bar soap. So that's cool. That's good. So. I, so if I had to take a guess, it's probably would last you around three weeks, depending on give or take how you uh, use it and how you use the lather of it. So yeah, it's a cool soap, cool looking soap. It's a little, it's definitely more um, conventional in its style, right? It looks like a it looks like a conventional bar soap. I'm not used to uh, seeing them made this way. Right, I'm more used to that square cut. It looks like it's been cut by a knife, kind of look. When I think of, that's what I think of when it when I hear natural bar soap, which is a little disappointing, you know. When you consider you're a natural bar soap, you know, I kind of want I want you to own that a little bit more, and I, I don't feel like they're really owning the fact that they're a natural bar soap. Um, I, I guess it's just for marketing purposes. I'm not sure. Maybe they were going for the more traditional style, conventional style, maybe. Maybe to sell more, I don't know, but but uh, it's but it's not bad. I like the color the most, I would say. But all right, guys, now I've actually looked at the soap itself. 
it's got a good it's got a good size to it, it looks cool but um, let's move on to the next part where we I should give maybe a little sniff test uh, and see how it smells and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on that guys so let's move on to the next part of the video so all right gentlemen now that we looked at the bar soap itself let's go ahead and give it a sniff test to see how it smells and see whether or not if it smells good or not so um, I will say this right off the bat though the first thing I'm noticing my first impressions of this soap usually when I'm dealing with soaps or I come across them especially my other reviews I can usually smell the soap before I even smell or put it to my nose. I don't smell nothing. I really, I'm not smelling anything. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming, so that pretty much already tells me this is going to be a very subtle soap. It's not going to be strong. It's not heavy on the fragrance, which is a really good thing for a lot of guys because a lot of guys don't like heavy fragrance soaps but and also on the flip side though there are a lot of guys who do like their soaps a little more heavier on the fragrance but let's go ahead and actually give the soap actually smell let's give it a sniff and let's see how it actually smells okay yeah that's not wow that's not bad okay no 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 it's, it's the seed is very prevalent um you know i know it says bourbon but i, I don't I don't really smell the bourbon. If I do, it's very discreet. Yeah. Very, very heavily uh, more oriented on the cedar. Now here, kind of what I was alluding to, and I'm not surprised, is what I expected. The, the smell is not very strong, though. No, I mean, you really got to put it to your nose and smell this sucker to actually get the fragrance. Um... But when you do it, it, it's a it's a very manly smell. It's it smells it smells really good. Yeah, it's it's a great smell, guys. Now I'll say this though, I'll say this: if you like your bars of soap a little heavier on the fragrance, I think you pass. I don't think you're gonna be blown away or super impressed. You know, you may you may respect the smell. You might think, oh, that smells really good. But I don't think I don't think you're gonna be too impressed, or this is gonna be a soap that you're gonna necessarily care too much for. You know, you may give it a try, but you may want to pass. There are other I've smelled other soaps that do cedar, that do it a little, that have a more powerful fragrance, if you will, a little stronger. Uh, but if you don't, if you do like your soaps on the more subtle side, where the fragrance is not overwhelming or it's not uh, too strong, if you will, you might want to look into the soap, man. Seriously, you might really want to check this bar of soap out. This is a good one. Because the smell itself, it's nice. It's actually really nice. It's a very nice smelling bar of soap. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. I would I actually recommend you giving it a shot if you like cedar and you like your bar, a soap a little more on the subtle side I recommend you giving this a shot It's a good smell. I think you should at least give it a sniff It's a very good smelling bar soap. So uh, but with that being said guys Now that we gave it a good smell and I gave my thoughts and opinions how I think the bar soap actually smells Let's go ahead and move to the next part of this video Where there's a couple of ingredients. I, I want to highlight and want to talk about a little bit um, ones that could be a little confusing, and if you're not familiar with them, could even make you, you know, uh, raise some eyebrows. So, I want to clear some air on that. So, let's move into the next part of the video, guys. All right, guys. So, there were two ingredients that I really wanted to take a deeper dive, and these two ingredients are sodium palmate and sodium palm kernelate. <laughs> now. Having read them both on the box, I wasn't sure what they are. I didn't even, I didn't even know if they were natural or not. So I wanted to take a closer look, a little bit of a deeper dive, and actually what were they? So both sodium palmate and sodium palm kernelate are both main ingredients when it comes to the saturation or the soap making process. Both are often used as surfactants, which basically just lowers the surface tensions between two substances, often two liquids. They're also used to, as emulsifying agents. But what are they exactly? 
Well, sodium palmate is just the salt, the sodium salts that have been extracted from the pulp of the palm fruit. And sodium palm kernelate is just the salt, uh, sodium salts that have been extracted from this, the palm kernel or the seeds, right? So that's what they are. They're just salts that have been extracted. So side relief, they're not, they are not created in some lab. They are just the salts that have been extracted from um, these oils. So hopefully that kind of clears the air and we can now actually take a deep breath. <laughs> so let's move on to the next part of the video, guys, now that we took a closer look, so. All right, guys, so I have the soap here. What I'm gonna do is just put some water on it, lather it with my hands, and just kind of show you how it looks lathering up like that. Then I'm gonna use this um, face cloth, because I know a lot of guys use face cloths, I do. So let's get right into it. It's got a real grainy feel to it. I was not expecting that. You can feel that it's got, I wonder if it's like exfoliator. It feels like it's got like sand in there a little bit. It's pretty cool. So that's what it looks like, as you can tell. I mean, I do, I barely, that's pretty impressive. I, I barely rub the hands on it. It's got a good lather. So that's really impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna dry it up a little bit so it can be fair. And then I'm gonna come back with the towel and we're gonna see how it actually lathers with a face cloth. All right, guys, now that I dry off the soap, we saw what it looked like lathering with just our hands. Let's go ahead and use the face cloth to see how much it lathers. Uh, face cloths versus just our hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the water and we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna let it rub in that bad boy. That's a pretty good freaking lather, bro. Kind of rub that up a little bit in there, get that going. Come on now. That's pretty good. Nice. Cool. Now you see, guys, we did the lather test with just our bare hands. We saw with the face cloth. But all right, guys, now that we've seen the leather, we did the lather test. Something totally different. Something I added to our videos. Let me know how that how that is. If you liked it or not. If I should keep doing that. But I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see how the soap actually looks when we actually. Um, Put the soap under water so hey, gentlemen now that we're done actually lathering up the soap seeing how that all works let's go ahead and uh, wrap this video up guys i'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions and overall impressions on the soap and whether or not i think this is a pass or a recommendation so here with the bourbon cedar by olivia i just want to say once again that i think it's a really nice bar of soap it has a really nice fragrance uh but despite that it doesn't really do anything special for me I think if you had to rate it from like one to 10, I would say it's like a seven. Like it's just swimming seven. It just does a lot of things nice, but it doesn't do anything great. So when you consider that fact, I can't recommend you going out and buy the soap. You know what I mean? Um, especially for like six, six fifty, depending on where you buy it from. I just think you have other options and I think you should maybe explore those options. But if you so happen to run this at your local organic store or whatnot, and you want to give it a shot, go for it. I don't think you'd be mad or disappointed. Like I said, it's a very nice fragrance. That's wrong with the soap. But at the end of the day, I can't recommend you going out and buying it. Uh, so for me, it doesn't get my natural soap man seal of approval, but it just gets a thumbs up because I think overall it is a nice bar of soap. So with that being said, guys, that concludes this review. And as always, it's absolutely been a pleasure serving you. And guys, till next Tuesday when I come out with another review, you guys stay safe and happy Thanksgiving. So make sure you spend some time with the family. Take care, be safe, and much love from my family to yours. So shout out, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, and one more thing, guys, before you leave. I wanted to throw one more thing at you. I actually created very recently an Instagram you know for for a natural soap man channel and there i post videos and tips and uh do some one-on-one little smaller videos basically whether or not i think a soap is good or not so if that interests you consider following me on instagram as well